Hey there, my name is Anna Wiggins and I wanna thank you for joining us for Morning Manna. We're in the middle week of 21 days of prayer and fasting. If you've been joining us from the beginning, fantastic. It's so exciting to get to do this with you. Now, if you're watching and you wonder if you can jump in, well, the answer is of course. You can find info about fasting as well as weekly prayer points on our app and on the website. Last week, Pastor Chris spoke to us and encouraged us around the principle that the Bible is the handbook for life. And I am so glad we started there. In fact, it's the first operational principle for Mana Church because everything that comes after is built on that foundation. We learn how to live for God by hearing from God and the primary way he speaks to us is through his word, the Bible. Our principle this week is devotion to Christ is the place where the human heart is most satisfied. Now, if you've been through Leader Step, you know that's also our second operational principle. Really, it's the principle where we live out the truths that we find in Scripture. Jesus told us in Mark 12, verse 30, And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. Now, this verse is also referenced in Matthew and in Luke and many other places in the Bible, but they all reference Deuteronomy 6, 5, where God spoke to Moses and gave this command to the Hebrew people. In fact, this passage was so important. It's called the Shema, the Jewish confession of faith. And it's so important that God instructed his people to memorize it, recite it daily and teach it to future generations. So what does it have to say to us? Let's read it again. Again, that's Mark chapter 12, verse 30, if you're following along. And you shall love the Lord your God with all of your heart. What's your heart? Your feelings, your motivations, your passions. So we're to love him with all of our heart and with all of your soul. What is your soul, your will, your emotions, your desires? We love him with all of our heart, with all of our soul, with all of our mind, our thoughts and our thought processes. And finally, with all your strength. That's our physical strength and our ability. Every aspect of who we are, internally, externally, mentally, physically, and spiritually, is meant to honor and glorify God. Devotion to Christ is the place where the human heart is most satisfied. Devotion demands action. It requires demonstration. In other words, to be devoted means to give or direct our time, talent, treasure. Sound familiar? It means to direct those things to the object of your devotion. Jesus told us to love him with all of who we are. I can't hold on to two things and give either of them my full attention, which means in order to love God with all that we are, we have to identify the areas where we're holding on to things that distract us from him. Whether it's unforgiveness, unhealthy or sinful habits or thought patterns, even things that we've talked up to being personality traits, like being a worrier or family trait of being quick tempered. Let's pray this today. Lord, inspire me to wholeheartedly turn to you, letting go of everything that takes my attention from you, forsaking any idols, sins, excuses, and distractions. Amen. We'll see you tomorrow.